Frances Glessner Lee was the country's first female police captain, an eccentric heiress, and the creator of the nutshell studders of unexplained death, which saw her series of dollhouse-sized crime scene dioramas as scientific tools. Lee created the nutshells during the 1940s for the training of budding forensic investigators. Inspired by true-life crime files and a drive to capture the truth, Lee constructed domestic interiors populated by battered, blood-stained figures and decomposing bodies. The scenes are filled with intricate details, including miniature books, paintings and knick-knacks. Frances Glessner Lee was an upper-class socialite who inherited her family's millions at the beginning of the 1930s. She discovered a passion for forensics through her brother's friend, George Burgess McGrath. A future medical examiner and professor of pathology, McGrath inspired Lee to fund the nation's first university department of legal medicine at Harvard and spurred her late-in-life contributions to the criminal investigation field. Glessner Lee established the Harvard Department of Legal Medicine in the 1930s, providing the equivalent of 3.4 million US dollars in today's money and funding, and held annual homicide seminars to teach both medical examiners and police investigators. Armed with her family fortune, an arsenal of case files, and crafting expertise, Lee created 20 nutshells, a term that encapsulates her drive to find truth in a nutshell. The detailed scenes, which include a farmer hanging from a noose in his barn, a housewife sprawled on her kitchen floor, and a charred skeleton lying in a burned bed, proved to be challenging but effective tools for Harvard's legal medicine students. Following the Harvard Department's 1967 dissolution, the dioramas were transferred to the Maryland office of the chief medical examiner, where they have been used as training tools ever since. An additional diorama, fondly referred to as the Lost Nutshell, was rediscovered at the site of Lee's former home in Bethlehem, New Hampshire. Lee's inclusion of lower-class victims reflects the nutshell's subversive qualities and, according to Atkinson, her unhappiness with domestic life. Although she had an idyllic upper-class childhood, Lee married lawyer Blewett Lee at 19 and was unable to pursue her passion for forensic investigation until late in life when she divorced Lee and inherited the Glessner fortune. Her expression was the purpose of a forensic investigation was to convict the guilty, clear the innocent and find the truth in a nutshell, that's what the medical examiner does, is to treat every person equally and every person that same dignity and the same closure that every person is entitled to.